Glasgow to take you on a trip back in time. Well, not really back in time, but on the TARDIS, but more like visiting a museum. The Glasgow Police Museum, to be exact. It was relocated here on Bell Street after its refurbishment in 2009, and it holds records dating back as far as 1779. So here we have is Britain's first dogs, which were introduced in 1910. Now this is the first time that dogs have been introduced into the aid of the police force. At first there was four dogs which were ordered to help to aid the police force for a total of £21. Quite interesting. Now this is an interesting display. We have here the different types of baton that was used in Glasgow. Also here is um, the baton that was dated early 19th century and also the different types of communications they used to use. For example, the police clappers and the police rattles. Obviously, you don't need that nowadays. So this is a silver tree that was presented to Superintendent William McIntosh on his retire from Glasgow Police Force on the 1st of November, 1899. Now, William McIntosh is a father of Charles Rennie McIntosh, who was arguably the best Scottish designer of the 20th century. And here we have is a collection of fantastic medals ranging from bronze, silver and gold. This is a fantastic little collection that you must have a look. And on this side is the Govan Police Pipe Band uniform which was first introduced in 1885. And here we have is a piece of written history on Rudolf Hess. Rudolf Hess was born in Egypt and he became deputy Fuhrer in 1939 um, after he helped Hitler to write his book Mein Kampf while they were imprisoned. And here we have is a BSA number 22 at Martini International Rifle. Now this rifle is dated from the 15th of July 1969, which roughly makes it just over 40 years old. Yeah, all your European uniforms over here. One of my particular favourite is the Italy one. And there's two types of uniform here, and each one is so detailed that it is, is unbelievably beautiful. And there's one here from Canada, and you can spot it from miles away because everyone knows who the Mounties are. It's, it's just so fascinating. So I have had a fantastic day here at the Police Museum in Glasgow, and I hope when you come to visit you would have learned as much as I have today. And I would like to say thank you for watching, and we hope to see you soon here. Goodbye.